Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> I just died because I wasn't paying attention and I fell off the cliff. So this is a game called The Wild Eight. It is a procedurally generated survival game with multiplayer. So in this video, I'll be covering over the single player demo, but the full game will release February 8th, and I hope to get the game a few days before that to kind of check out the multiplayer and see the full release here. So uh, we should be used to this if you're used to survival games. We have health, stamina, uh, hunger, and cold. It's actually getting really cold, so I should probably get started here, Drew. Let's uh, let's focus. So we can gather up resources. Let's go after some stone. Um, this is going to be pretty much an unlimited supply of stone for us uh, throughout this, this playthrough, but in the full release, I saw that... Uh, uh, the, the rocks do eventually go away and the trees will fall the trees will definitely fall this little tutorial but we're not really gonna focus on the tutorial too much here uh, I don't think it's uh, super necessary we'll actually be able to jump into more of uh, the gameplay elements uh, here by not doing the tutorial as much so yeah I just built a shelter and through the shelter we can uh, we can access first of all uh, a few different texts that's how these structures are gonna work uh, we need to make sure that we research the ability to build a, uh, a campfire so that's basically what this does. When I hit the check mark, I now can build the campfire. I still need the resources to actually to actually craft it. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a little bit more wood. There we go. Please hit the. We're just hitting the tree. He's basically just kind of punching the tree. So I'm just like, come on, punch the tree, punch the tree. All right, we're getting really cold. It's time to build the campfire, and it's nighttime. So uh, this is not this is not too good. I'm gonna build it right there next to us, next to the the stone and the trees. And uh, there we go. So it's at full full capacity right now obviously we need to refuel uh, by putting more uh, logs into it you also see kind of wildlife running around and uh, I haven't talked about the massive plane <laughs> that is just sitting here on fire yeah I guess uh, I guess this guy got a plane ticket to the wilderness of Alaska and because uh, he looks totally ready with his little backpack and stuff like that he looks like he was prepared for this okay so I'm hungry let's go ahead and eat the canned goods uh, again this is a this will be a procedurally generated game right now it's a demo so you know this is kind of the setup that we uh, we are we find ourselves in uh, there is another canned good around here somewhere canned foods I guess let's go ahead and grab that and uh, now that it's nighttime we can't be too far away from the the fire because we'll get cold so let's uh let's just gather up some resources next to our little uh, a campsite and we got to work on a workshop next so as I said we can build these like big structures so I've got a shelter and then I'd build a workshop and uh, what is this deer? this deer is like just asking to die but he's gonna run away once I punch him yeah <laughs> holy crap what was that noise did he make that noise what was that all right so we need to we need to make this go a little bit higher and uh, I can work on my workshop now that was a terrifying noise I'm waiting for like the the black smoke monster to come out like lost of the wilderness Okay, so there's my workshop, um, and uh, we're going to be upgrading. Now, so in order to access the workshop, we first have to upgrade the shelter. And uh, in the full game, we'll get access to, like, this huge sort of tree of text or traits that we can discover for our characters. Uh, that's basically what the Wild Eight is, is it's eight different characters that you can play as. Uh, and, jeez, there's a lot of scary noises that are happening. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we can upgrade our traits and our own personal... Uh, diversity of each character I guess to, to be able to because you know this is the wilderness man there's gonna be a tons of things tons of things that are gonna be sent our way like blizzards uh, and uh, that's all I really know for sure are blizzards uh, so yeah I'm gathering up some resources right now because uh, yeah in terms of wildlife we uh, we can we can hunt boar in the early game that'll probably be the easiest to go for our boar um, but we can we can eat berry berries and uh, we can cook mushrooms and things like that uh oh and we actually need to look for food now because I'm going to eat my final supply of food through the canned goods. And let's go, have, let's go after some cherries or cherries or berries. I don't know. They're red, so I guess they could be their northern berries. Well, can they be cherries, though? I guess that wouldn't be very satisfying. We can cook the mushrooms. So uh, Drew loves mushrooms. Everybody knows how much Drew loves uh, drugs and mushrooms and things like that. So, <laughs> so he, I'm definitely going to go after that. And uh, the next thing on the to-do list besides make sure the campfire doesn't go out is uh, upgrade this guy so once we upgrade it we have access to level two traits so I can go after terrain orientation which is going to increase my character sight range movement speed things like that uh, these are not craftable things these are actual traits that I get immediately so it would be a good idea to maybe go after all of this I need a lot more stone four berries and, um, and mushrooms should keep me going it's day two 1 p.m. Uh, and like obviously the uh, 
Obviously, the time is all weird in Alaska. I'm, I'm from California, so I have no idea, but the sun doesn't necessarily rise at like 8 a.m. For instance, uh, I had to learn that the hard way because <laughs> I died. Uh, so, yeah, a few times kind of trying to discover the demo for myself. I'm like, why isn't the sun up? I'm trying to explore and it still's not up. So it doesn't come out to like 11 a.m. or something sometimes. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so I'm going to cook this mushroom because we don't want to eat it raw. There we go. Uh, we might even want to go after some... Oh, we can upgrade the workshop now. Okay, so we're going to upgrade the workshop. Now we have access to a uh, so a healing slav. I actually have no idea what that is. I know that sounds really stupid, but I've never heard of that before. Uh, sharpened bone to allow us to uh, to kill things easier. Actually, that would be great. Wooden shoes, which uh, we'll get into apparel that will keep us a little bit more warmer, and then a rabbit trap. I think I want those wooden shoes the most because those things are really useful. Okay, hey, can you get out of here before I make the the little knife to kill you? Okay, come on. So we fail sometimes. You can't always start the fire easily. Um, yeah, you, you, it, it all, it's, I don't know what the percentage, like 50, 50% 50 chance of starting the fire. And, uh, we need to be careful of that. Okay, so what I want are the wooden shoes to kind of explore, uh, some of the apparel. Because I haven't even opened up this window here. So here's our equipment. We can, you know, get a bunch of different things. I can move the camera angle too. Uh, that is definitely a thing. And, um, and then here's my crafting window as well. Which right now we can make a stick. Yeah. Yay, sticks. Uh, that actually does help us fight uh, animals and kill animals a little bit easier. So we might want to do that. Okay. So as I said, the workshop just gives us access to the ability to craft these things. Now I open up my crafting tool, go into close, and now I can actually make it. Um, again, wood is a big, big resource here in the, in the demo. Uh, I'm assuming those other resources are going to fall in line of uh, importance in the uh, in the full game. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this mushroom. I'm getting kind of getting kind of hungry, getting a little hungry, and also let's make sure that we get that up a little bit further. Okay, so yes, we want to craft our shoes because that is gonna be a lifesaver. We won't nearly be as cold. Okay, so now I can open up my equipment, equip those. Bam! Look at those little wooden shoes, looking great. I bought those from the Nike store. I got my new Nikes. They're wooden. They're Jordan. Wooden Jordans. They're the new Jordans or new LeBrons. I don't know. One or the other. There's something new. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking good. Okay, so that should be enough for now. So I can go back to the workshop, and since I crafted that, I now have access to a wooden outfit. Again, we want this stuff because uh, I can't even travel too far away. Uh-oh. I won't be able to travel. Come on. <laughs> Holy crap. I just wasted so many wood resources trying to start this up. Um, I can't travel too far away or else you'll see my cold meter like just dip real fast. Now that I have now that I have shoes though, it's a little bit different, a little bit easier to manage. Um, okay, so what do I need? I just wasted so much of my wood. So I need to get a ton of this stuff now. And I'm going to kill that deer or whatever it is. I promise you I will kill you if you keep this is my camp shot site, okay? I'm gonna eat two of those. Uh, oh, we're full. We're super slow, I think, because we ate too much. Is that why? I think so, yeah. Yep. Gluttony. All right, well, we need to be careful. I can look, I can barely hit this too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I wanna get my wooden outfit and then we're super, like it doesn't, I, I think we can, I think we're dealing with a blizzard right now. I think this is a blizzard, so it's like even more cold than usual. Let me give you some of this before you go out. That would be bad. And uh, bam. Okay, so now I can open this up and get something real sexy. Oh, man, you're not ready for this. You're not ready for this new fashion right here. Just a wooden outfit. The most comfortable, the most high fashion thing I've ever seen. Okay, we. I think we have I think we have enough. Let's go. Let's open this up. And uh, bam, we're going to craft this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, I'm looking fly right here. Look at this. This guy is, uh, this guy is, I don't know. I don't know how to describe him. Daddy? Is that what, is that what people say? I don't know. <laughs> He's looking sexy though with this wooden outfit. Okay, so I'm eating too fast here. I'm going to be slow for a while, but that's fine. So I'm going to put my last few uh, logs in the campfire. That way it just doesn't go out. That would be really, really bad. Uh, but now we can practically leave, we can practically leave this thing and go looking for food uh, because we're not going to get cold. I mean, we will get cold, but it's going to be really, really slow. Uh, I do want to show off killing some animals. I know that sounds horrible <laughs> now that I say that out loud, but uh, I do kind of want to show that off. Oh, we already got these berries. There's berries all around. Again, I could, I can travel pretty far. We can actually dis uh, 
kind of explore the the plane site you'd think there'd be a lot more here oh is that a canned good that i missed there's a soda on the ground that i don't think i can pick up oh my gosh i'm eating this right now bam all right we're super good okay so i'm gonna eat that there are some more berries we might want to get a stick or a so there's going to be wolves and bears. I don't know if I mentioned that in terms of the wildlife. And uh, we might want to get the the little knife bone thingy because I don't know how scary these wolves are going to be. Uh, the wolves are going to be pretty terrifying, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we're going to... I don't think we'll see a bear. I hope not. Bears are pretty scary too. I don't know where the boars are. I see a lot of these deers, but uh, the, the deers just run away when you hit them. The boars will actually come and attack you, so uh, that's kind of the fun thing about them. All right, so there we go. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and see if we want... So healing goes up automatically when you eat. I would like to get this and start working on possibly crafting that. So stick, throwing stones, and then a sharpened bone. Oh, necessary material to create some stuff. Yeah, no duh, but I don't have any bones. We're going to have to kill something for that. That was, that was a waste. Uh-oh. Yeah, I guess we didn't need to research that. Well, at least we know. At least we know now. Okay, so let me eat some berries. And uh, I don't believe I can upgrade these guys. So it's going to be day four. I think we're going to get our stuff and leave. Okay, actually, I would love strength. Or just to increase some of these strength, uh, these abilities. So those are just abilities. As I said, they're not like research. I don't have to craft them afterwards. So a little bit more useful of resources. A little bit more useful of my, uh, of my resources if I go after that. So like strength would be good. Agility. Especially to... Actually, we don't need agility that badly because... Like, look at this. I am, uh, oh my gosh, I'm hearing some, such a, some scary, scary noises. I am, it's like, you know, 12 p.m., day four, and I'm far from the campsite. And you can, you can see my, my cold meter. It's like barely going down. So this is perfect. Okay, so gathering up resources. Oh boy, that's going to take me a lot. Please make it easy. Nice. First try. Perfect. All right, so what do we want? Strength, uh, bone extraction. Allows extraction of animal bones. Oh, Oh, that's how we can get a bone. Well, it's kind of too late now. We should probably... Okay, well, I want strength. And uh, and I, I want this if we can grab it. Yeah, we can. Bam. All right, very nice. I don't know what this is. I guess we'll see. This is probably for the, the full release. Uh, this stuff is nice. I mean, maybe I should... Well, let's go. Let's craft a stick, first of all. So here's a stick. It's only going to cost me five resources. I can also get a throwing stone, technically. But uh, for now... I'm going to eat my, my final berries, do this, and uh, around 11 a.m. we're going to start traveling towards the east to find flight 816. 816, all right. So I guess other people decided to take the journey out towards the wilderness and just kind of try to survive, I guess. I don't know. I don't think their plane crashed at all. They totally meant for this to happen, maybe. Okay, so yeah, we're going to gather a ton of berries and a ton of uh, mushrooms when we leave, so I'm not super worried about that idea. I'm just got to make sure that I have enough... Uh, wood that I can build a campfire anywhere. That's like the most important thing. And I've got this stick that will allow me to kill animals a little bit easier. So uh, let's just wait. Where do we want to leave now? No, I'm hungry. Well, yeah, we should probably leave now since I'm hungry. Okay, so this is what I can do. I can uh, I can just fold this up and uh, place it in my backpack and we're going to leave. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fold it up. It stays upgraded and all that other stuff. So we are good to go. So hopefully we find some berries. Uh, not some mushrooms. We get to head towards the east to find this, to find this thing. Oh boy, Drew, you're cutting it close, man. You're cutting real close. We're real hungry right now. Oh man, I'm hoping you know when we find this campsite, we might also be. There's a mushroom. Hopefully, we don't run into the. Uh, oh man, I don't think can I even eat this raw if I, if I can't find anything. There's a ton of mushrooms. There we go. Ooh, ooh, you got lucky, Drew. Pick it up. Pick it up. Don't just punch the air. <laughs> I, that's not advised. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, dang it. I accidentally ate both of them. <laughs> well, that's fine. Okay, how's hunger now? It better be more than that. Oh, well, it's just a... Yeah, you know, it's not that good. What you need is some meat. We do need to kill some animals. Look at that. It's already 24 again. Again, canned goods, baby. Okay, well, here's some more berries. So that's fine. Wait a second. We are getting really cold. Wondering if it's colder than usual today. It could be. Oh, we found it. I don't know where it's at, but we found it. 
Oh, I think I traveled to there. Okay, so if I open, this is the map right here. I probably shouldn't open this up right now while I'm freezing. Okay, let's eat one of these berries now before bad things happen. Dude, where is it? There it is. Okay, so uh, let's eat another one. Make a campfire here. Maybe a little bit closer. Like right there. That way I can... There we go. Nice. Okay, so tell me there's something sexy here. Tell me there's something nice and good to eat. Even if it's a boar, I'll eat a boar right now. You know, I should equip this. Okay, so uh, we can make a torch, just not here in this demo. So we can turn this stick into a, uh, a torch if we needed to. Oh, you know what? I need to cook this. Let's cook the mushroom. There you go. While I go after these resources. Uh, luckily, I've got 39 stone. I don't know if we're going to have access to another a nearby rock. Okay, well, good thing my cold's going back up. Or my, I guess my warmth is a better way to put it, Hondru. Kind of. Did you eat? Did you? Are you not making, you know, why are you not cooking this? Uh, hello. There you go. Great. This is going to take some time, too. And I don't see any canned goods around here. That could be bad. Oh, boy. 11. If I don't move, does that help us out at all? Okay, well, we, we should be fine now. Okay, so I need to, uh, I need to take a risk here and start looking for some food. Hey, little rabbit. Maybe I should have made a rabbit, uh, a rabbit boar trap. It's not a boar rabbit trap, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to travel. Wait a second, wait a second. When I, before I go out exploring. Oh, I've got a ton of wood. That's good. Yeah, well, that's, that's a, a small positive here. Uh, now, I need to pick up. There is a generator here before I leave, just in case. There is, there we go. So I've got the generator. Uh, I guess we should leave. We are cutting it really close here. It's not, it, it is pretty cold. Okay, well, there's a mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna head back. Maybe I should just show what the, well, let's see here. Can we make it? Yeah, we could probably make it. Okay, let's cook it. Unless unless this happens. I don't even... Okay, you know what? I don't even want to do it anymore. I'm eating it. Yep, I just ate it. So what does that happen? Oh, so indigestion. Uh-oh. <laughs> that could be bad. It is 5 a.m. We still have a few more hours before we're going to get access to anything else. Okay, I'm going to travel up this way and see what we can find. I know you're really hungry, dude, but you got to... You got to fight through the pain. Okay, there's a bunch of mushrooms over here. So I'm going to gather up all these. I might just get a... I just might eat a whole bunch of them, to be honest. All right. We're doing it. Boom. Oh, there goes my health. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's going down. <laughs> it is bad. It is bad, Drew. All right, well, I, I ate... I just wanted to eat one. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. We made it first try again. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I am going to... Uh, Cook this stuff. Nice. Oh my gosh, stupid blizzard. Okay, it's day five. Things are getting intense now. <laughs> Luckily, my health didn't go down too low. Let's pick this up, eat this, and then uh, I've got the generator. So now we need to find a place where we can apply the generator. Very nice. Okay, so we're warm. Um, oh crap. Oh, the, the wolves are attacking. Okay, the wolves are attacking. There are some berry bushes. I didn't have to travel that far for them. Oh, I can't get him anymore. Okay, I need to eat this and take this with me. All right, very nice. All right, so where would this generator be? If I was a generator, where would I be? There's a boar. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Would it be over here? Let me let me open up, let me open up the map. I guess. I guess. Again, I don't have any more room for anything because I have so many, so much wood. So I've got to pass up like all these mushrooms. I see so many of them too. The game's just like trying to bait me into, into pick them up. Okay, here. I need to start eating them this first of all, Drew. Let's wait. How much time do I need to give? Okay, let's do it again. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> I just died because I wasn't paying attention and I fell off the cliff. 
there you go. So uh, that was the demo for the Wild Ape, and uh, yeah, there you kind of got a gist of what it's like. Uh, again, I really hope that in uh, in a few days I can come back and, and show off the full release of this game. So hopefully I'll be back in a few days to cover the official release, uh, maybe with a friend or two, and uh, and we'll do the multiplayer version of this game. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.